All right, guys, this is a quick video to remind you that the activity matrix still exists and it's still awesome. Uh, I use it all the time for analysis of various crypto assets, trying to figure out which altcoins out there or even Bitcoin are experiencing an anomaly in some sort of category. Uh, this model, for example, measures uh, the past 90 days or three months of active addresses, network growth, whale transactions, um, key stakeholder accumulation, social dominance, exchange inflow or outflow, mean dollar invested age, or age consumed. And then it looks at the past seven days here to show you how cold or hot each category was for each of the past seven days. Uh, the colors of each label <coughs> are automatically scaled from uh, super blue, like we see with small love potion, which means it's a very cold network that is not getting a lot of activity to super red, such as uh, Maker is sort of there, USD coin. Um, I won't spoil the easiest way to find it. I'll show that at, at the end of this video. But we also have Fetch. Basically, the, the redder the label is, the hotter the network is on the uh, previous day. I see Matic is up there as well. So you get the idea with hot networks, they generally are getting a flurry of high whale addresses, um, interacting transactions, active addresses, network growth, things like that. Um, and the reason that's important is cold networks really aren't in any position to have a sudden shift in price, whereas hot networks are. So, for example, we've seen a bit of a, a slide in prices throughout crypto over the past week. If we look at a few of the hotter networks out there, like Maker and Fetch, it would make sense that they have a better chance to turn things around and start to bounce, arguably ahead of the rest of the markets. Um, and we've seen these predictions through this model be spot on time and time again. Um, before I go to the leaderboard tab, I just want to show an example of uh, some whale transaction spikes that I found really quickly just by using the activity matrix. Um, here we see Matic uh, with a, a large amount of whale transactions to this previous day was the highest level of 100K plus uh, transactions on the network since uh, July 17th, about a six week high. Balancer is up there. And Maker is up there as well. We just talked about Maker being one of the hotter uh, assets out there right now. So now if we go back to the activity matrix, um, it's fairly intuitive. We've got roughly, I, I think, a little over 100 different assets that are tracked. But of course, if you really wanted to get um, manual with your own copy of this, you can uh, simply go to the data tab here and switch any of these assets to the um, project that you like assuming that sentiment has data on it. Of course, most uh, projects for these eight categories um, are going to be ERC-20s, so just keep that in mind. Um, now, the leaderboard that I, I alluded to, this is an easy way in case you don't want to look through this, this huge grid of colors all, all the time. Uh, we have the leaderboard that just goes right to the uh, top 10 or bottom 10 for each of these categories. Um, in terms of which are seeing the biggest anomalies. Interestingly, Tether just had its second biggest day of the last 90 days. That's what these numbers mean. Um, a two would mean it's the second biggest day in the past three months. Three would mean it's the third biggest day, et cetera. And then you even have like 91st biggest day or 90th biggest day, meaning it's at the very bottom of its three month range for active addresses, which we see for Project Galaxy, Magic Token, Small Love Potion that we just saw being an extremely cold network, stuff like that. Um, network growth, Tether is up there right now. Whale transactions, Matic is up there. Uh, key stakeholder accumulation, Numeraire, Quant are a couple uh, projects seeing their biggest day of accumulation in the past 90 days. So that's something you may want to consider. Um, Coin98 and Chromia are seeing big social dominance spikes. So people are talking about those projects a bit more. Balancer and Ethereum are actually seeing big outflow days. That's what this means. Uh, uh, basically, if coins are moving off of exchanges, that's a good thing. 
which is why they're in the green side of things. If you wanted to see the ones with the biggest inflows, we have Chili's, Cellar, Linear, Injective, Phantom, Aragon, among others. Uh, mean dollar invested age, this means that dormant coins are suddenly moving at a very fast rate. We have Sushi up there, Coin98, as having some of their biggest days of the past three months. Uh, and then finally, similar to mean dollar invested age, age consumed, which is the amount of coins multiplied by how old they were. We have linear, Chili's, STPT, uh, and plenty of others that you see here on the screen. Um, so that's just a quick recap. And of course, I also want to mention the fact you can just look at the best performers among the coins tracked on this activity matrix, or at least my version. You can change the coins yourself once again. But you can see UMA, Chromia, SSV are, are a few of the um, few positive gainers over the past day. And then Fetch, Teller, Ocean are the best performers over the past week. Ave, Curve, Reserve Right are some of the best over the past 30 days. Ave, XRP, and Pax Gold are some of the best uh, over the past 90 days. So you can track prices too. It's all here and it's a very, very intuitive um, model that I recommend you check out. Uh, the link is in the description for it. Remember, you're not ac accessing the direct link. Uh, you will simply make a copy and then use either your Sandbase Pro API, or if you're on a trial, you can get an API for free as well to check this out and see how you like it. And we're here on Discord to answer any questions. The server uh, for Santiment is also in the description. Talk to you guys soon.